How do you let go of the need to know if someone is a narcissist? I am Lise Colucci, and I am one of the life coaches at Queen Being. Do you really need to know if the person that you're with or have dealt with or have been with or are your parents or whatever are really a narcissist? Do you need that diagnosis? I say no. I say toxic is toxic. And if someone treats you in a toxic way for a repeated period of time over however long your choice to deal with it is, is enough to know that that relationship is never going to be healthy. It's not something that you have to stick with no matter what. Okay. Because toxic patterns and toxic behavior don't necessarily change. Even if the person is isn't a narcissist, right? It's difficult to make changes in your life and it's difficult to grow and change and heal and all of that. And then also do it in relationship with someone else. So it really doesn't matter if someone is toxic for a period of time and if they do enough things that are not okay and you set boundaries and they don't let you, right? But here's the thing. If you really feel like you still need to know, let's talk about how to stop that need, how to let go of needing to know if a person is or isn't an actual narcissist. We can't diagnose anyone, you guys. We cannot diagnose a person as a narcissist. Only a qualified person can do that who has the right qualifications to do so and that would take that narcissist being in front of that qualified person and being questioned and being tested and all of that which as we know most of them aren't going to go do right so there is no way to really know unless you get that diagnosis so there's a number one thing you know like why hang on to something you'll never know it's it's accepting and allowing that toxic person to be how they are and if you can allow them and i don't mean toward you i mean from a distance you're sitting there watching them and you you be you i'll be me and let me just watch so if you're able to observe what they're doing and allow that truth to be there oh my gosh they do this all the time right it doesn't change i can allow them to be that right that can help you get a matter of fact type of mindset toward the situation and toward the person. If you can see that the person is not making change, even if they say they're making change and there's repeated patterns and repeated toxic behavior. If you watch one of my videos here on like 20 or however many signs of covert narcissism, like that for example, and you're ticking every box with that person's behavior, probably something's going on where no we can't technically diagnose them we can look for behavioral traits that line up with what narcissism looks like right and that could be enough to say you know what that person is never going to change because that is way too set of a way of thinking believing and acting for someone to just suddenly snap out of it so that's another point though understanding what the toxic relationship behaviors are watching videos for what the traits of narcissism are what the traits of you know all the different types of things that go with it covert narcissism malignant narcissism all of that communal narcissism which i just talked about or whatever you know understanding that can give you something like tangible, right? It can give you something, some understanding and knowledge so that when you see it in your life, you're recognizing it and you're not gaslighting yourself, pretending it's not there. Understanding gaslighting, let's talk about that. So understanding what gaslighting is, how it affects you, what it looks like, different ways people gaslight so that you're not emotionally manipulated when you understand it and you see the ways in which you've been emotionally manipulated by this person you can see that this is entirely toxic so you have to work on yourself sometimes too well actually always (laughs) let's start that over working on yourself to understand why you are with this toxic person what are you afraid of what do they give that you think they give that they're not 
actually giving, right? What are the things that you need in your life that you feel like you need that you can work on healing? The more you can do your own healing work, the larger the gap gets between who you are and who the toxic person is. And the more you can see that you need to detach from that. And the more you detach from that toxic person, the more you see it clearly. It's like a light shines on it. And you recognize, hopefully, that you are separate from them. And they are, okay, here's the thing. You can try every tactic with a narcissist to make things better, right? You can get yourself therapy. You can, you can, change the way you act you can change the way you dress you can change the way you speak you can change the things you like you can change everything about yourself to suit this person they will continue to do the same thing if not immediately over time they will come right back to the same behaviors right and that's how you can see wait a minute this has nothing to do with me you can change everything you can see it because they treat other people that way too and if they don't they will once they have a new source of primary supply you just won't see it because it'll be hidden behind those closed walls right so it's it's the this person can't act any differently they don't have the empathy that it takes to have a relationship where two people are able to relate from empathy toward one another and create something with mutual compassion understanding compromise all of that they can't do it and so because of that the bigger the gap gets the more you see who you are and who they are as completely separate which it should be anyway there shouldn't be enmeshment right um then you can see that they are so toxic that they're not right for your life some people though they like to ask why and this isn't um to blame anyone because this happens it's totally happens they like to ask why as a way to not see the situation they like to say the words i don't understand why do, why are they this way even when they know why they're this way so if that is you please stop asking yourself why and change it change it to what is it i need to see change it to how can i see the truth how can i allow the truth whatever it is that works for you phrase wise change that why because you already know why if you've been watching these videos and other people's videos you know why narcissists behave the way they do and in such a way that once we understand it we can actually make videos to explain it then you know the why is out there and it's easy to find the why is that they have no empathy that the empathy that they do have let me restate that the empathy that they do have is only cognitive it's only awareness of other people's experience it's not feeling and the desire to truly act on it from a place of intention and kindness okay they have do, do not take accountability they have really big egos and they don't like anyone seeing the truth of who they are i mean there's all these there's all these whys okay when you when you're someone with such attachment to being right, to your ego, to never being the one that's responsible for anything, unless it's something they can take praise for, how in the world are you supposed to be healthy in a relationship, right? They're not, okay? So those are the whys. So stop asking yourself why, because you know the why. Recognize that you keep asking why as a way to not see the truth. And ask yourself instead, how can I see what I need to see? With that, I am Lise Colucci, one of the life coaches at Queen Being. If you need anything coaching-wise, group coaching, check out the main description of every video. Please let me know how you struggle with this, if you're struggling with this, and or what you think about how to let go of the need to know why a person, if a person is a narcissist and, and why they act the way they act. Let me know in the main comments. Otherwise, Hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.